Hello, my name is Jay. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build an Excel SQL query application that allows you to write SQL queries against Excel tables. So before we begin, I'm going to give you a quick overview on what I'm going to build in this video. In this Excel file, I have a user form. And so this is the Excel SQL query user form that I built from scratch. And with this user form, it allows you to write SQL query against uh, any Excel tables. So let's say if I want to write a uh, SQL query that select every single uh, uh, columns from the location uh, tab, and I can select a uh, wildcard and from location. And when I finish, I can just click on query. And this will actually create a new tab. Uh, with the results in the uh, new worksheet. The great thing about being able to write SQL query against Excel table is that uh, for once, uh, it's much faster if you know how to write SQL. And for two, you can write some uh, really, really complex uh, analysis or filters using the word clouds or even joins. So if I need to uh, filter my data, so let's say uh, I need to um, filter my data uh, based on let's say region it goes to uh, south so I can insert a uh, web clouds and I'm going to assume that you already know some of the basic uh, fundamental of how to write a SQL statement and south and this will basically returns uh, all my data sets where the region is equal to south and I'll go into more uh, examples uh, after we finish building um, this application. And so now I'm going to uh, show you how to build this uh, entire Excel application from scratch. Okay, so over here I have a blank uh, Excel workbook. In this workbook, I have five different data sets. So I have the location uh, table, employee table, and position info table, and as well as the uh, on uh, sales data set that contains uh, the online venue and also the other venue uh, data sets. You can download this Excel workbook uh, in the uh, link in the description below. And to begin, so we need to, uh, so I'm going to first of all uh, show you guys how to create the user form. So you want to go into the uh, developer tab and let's open the uh, FIBA window. And first, so I'm going to right click and on the insert, I'm going to uh, insert brand new user form. And I'm going to close the uh, VBA property window. Okay, and I'm going to expand the user form. So the first thing I'm going to add is the uh, text box. And with the, with the uh, text box control, uh, basically you write the SQL statement inside the text box. And I'm going to uh, move the text box uh, up a little bit more. And next, I'm going to add a, a list box. And so with the list box, and this is going to uh, populate all the available worksheets uh, yeah, in your Excel file. And next, I'm going to create uh, three buttons. And button button okay so here's the com command button and I'm going to just um, drag the button and paste over and you can adjust the, the size and I'm going to uh, copy the command button and paste two more time so this will basically create uh, two more buttons so this is not aligned And so this is everything we need for now. So now we just need to uh, reposition all the active controls. Um, so to, and to make the user form look more uh, professional. So I'm going to move the, the form to the left a little bit more. So it doesn't have that much space. Okay, and that looks pretty good. So I'm going to uh, resize the user form. And now we'll finish adding the controls. And the next we need to configure it 
uh, to control properties. So I'm going to click on the uh, text box and press F4 to display the uh, control property. I'm going to close the, the, the text box, uh, user forms items library. And I'm going to uh, rename the text box from text box one to text box uh, SQL. And so from the uh, prop, one of the property, under the multi line, you want to set up that to two. And there's an inter behavior, uh, inter key behavior, and set that to two. So this allows you to uh, so when you so when you press enter in the uh, text box area, and this will actually uh, when you press enter, this will move to the next line. And close this. And I'm going to uh, so I'm sure I'm going to highlight these two uh, controls, and under the font. I'm going to set the uh, font name to Open Send. So this is uh, optional, but because I like the uh, Open Send uh, font style a lot, so I'm going to use that. And I'm going to uh, increase the font size to 10. So this allows me to see the text a little bit better. And so this is a, a glitch. So every time when you uh, change the font size of font style of the list box, it's going to shrink a little bit. So I'm going to uh, grab the the height value from the text box and 306 right here. And I'm going to uh, set the height as the, as the same, 306. And so I'm going to change the, the name of the list box uh, to uh, list, LST, and worksheets. And next, I'm going to uh, highlight all these three buttons, command buttons, and I'm going to set the font to open again. And I'm going to increase the size to 11. Actually, I'm going to make a bow. So the font style, I'm going to make a bow as well. And for the first command button, this is going to be the, the uh, query button. So text. Uh, I should command cmd query. I'm going to uh, rename the, the bottoms. And so for the uh, accelerator, so this is basically just a shortcut. And I'm going to assign the uh, Q as the uh, shortcut key. And the caption, I'm just going to name as uh, query. And for this, uh, for the second and third uh, command buttons. I'm going to change the uh, font color to red. And for the second command uh, button, I'm going to name the, rename the caption to clear. And I'm going to set the uh, shortcut key to uh, letter C, actually letter L. L. And I'm going to rename the uh, name to command clear. And last, I'm going to rename the uh, the last command button to CMD close. And I'm going to assign the shortcut key uh, letter C. And the caption will be just close. Actually, uh, so I feel like the, uh, the button is a bit bigger. So I'm going to make the button a little bit smaller. So highlight all the buttons. And just you know, reduce the uh, the words a little bit, and that looks pretty good. So I'm going to uh, reposition the buttons. If we press F5, and this is what the user form looks like now. And right now we don't have any uh, functionality assigned to the uh, button. So let's press X to uh, close the user form. Oh, and there's one more thing I forget. Uh, so I'm going to rename the user form to something more uh, clear. So form uh, Excel SQL query form. Okay. 
and I'm going to uh, change the caption to Excel SQL query and now we're done with uh, configure all the controls we can now um, go ahead and write the VBA code to create the functionalities of all the controls I'm going to click uh, anywhere on the form and press F7 and to uh, to navigate to the VBA window and I'm going to just delete this for now so I'm going to create everything from, uh, from scratch and so first I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, write the VBA code for the user form uh, initiate so I don't need the property anymore so I can just close this and we want to uh, look for the under the user form item we want to look for initialize events and I'm going to uh, create a worksheet variable so WS us worksheets and with me so um, so if you are writing VBA code inside the user form in VBA uh, me is a special uh, keyword that uh, assigned to the the the, app, the user forms inside the code so if I uh, open in the window control G and so I, should miss, I don't know if this will work so maybe, okay so I'm going to uh, put a breakpoint right here and so F5 so when a form is initialized and this will fire and now if I uh, go to emit a window and so if I try to query the name of the user form right now I get a uh, form excel still query form and with the uh, special uh, uh, name me okay and close this under the the MIP, uh option and with the the uh, Excel user form object, and I'm going to uh, set the uh, launching position uh, on the window. So the top application dot top and left. So from left left to right, and application dot left. So this will uh, center the user forms in the center of your screen and so and so when when the user form is initialized i want to clear all the uh items in the uh, list box so dot lst worksheet dot clear and then i want to re-add the uh, worksheet name so for each ws in this workbook and worksheets so worksheets in this workbook if uh, what she is uh, visible is equals to uh, yes so if the worksheet visibility is equals to visible then I want to add that worksheet name to my uh, list box so uh, that list worksheet add items to uh, ws dot name and and if Now if I just uh, press F5 to finish the, the code and as you can see right now uh, the list box uh, populate all the worksheet names in this Excel file so location, employee, position, info, and online and other venues and next I'm going to actually I'm going to uh, assign create the functionality for the uh, close button first so I'm just going and to uh, exile the user form I can just do unload and me so the object is me me object and for the uh, clear button so I'm going to select the clear button from the, the drop down and look for CMD clear and so you want to use me uh, text SQL so it's the, the name of the text uh, text box and the value is going to be blank so this will basically uh, clear the text box and for the uh, query actually uh, I forgot one thing so we need to create the, the engine so I'm going to um, create a brand new module 
and I'm going to select the module and press F4 to display the uh, property. And I'm going to name the module uh, M Excel Query. So that we name the uh, the module name. And I'm going to create a subroutine. I'm going to rename, I'm going to call the subroutine uh, Query Excel. And the argument is going to be uh, by value uh, SQL statement. And the input uh, type will be string. So it's, we know the SQL statement is always going to be uh, a text, text strings. Because we need to utilize the ODOCB uh, library, so we need to go to tools and references. You want to look for uh, a library name called reference name called uh, Microsoft Active X data object and depending on the excel version that you're using i'm using excel 2016 so it's going to be the latest uh, version so 6.0 is the one that i'll be choosing if you're using excel 2013 or 2010 or even 2007 your uh, version number is going to be a little bit different it's going to be like 2.8 i guess i'm not so sure but uh, once you are in the uh, available references list, and you should be able to figure out. And check the library reference and click on OK. And I'm going to create a couple variables. So the first variable is going to be the connection variable. So then CON as ADODB and connection. And the next will be the uh, record set option variable uh, then rsts od ad odb the record sets and the next uh variable up ob the object variable is going to be uh then cmd as ad odb uh, command i'm going to create a connection string variable so s Connection a, a string and as SQL a string. So this is my um so the connection variable is going to store the uh, connection property value and the S SQL uh, variable is going to store the SQL statement and then WS as worksheet, so I'm going to create another uh, worksheet object variable and I as integer and I check as integer. So this are uh, actually this one more variable that I need. So then uh, number of records is in, as, uh, long. Okay, and so this is AV single um, variables that we need for this subroutine. And I'm going to create the um, connection string. And so the connection property value is going to uh, provide. It should provide it goes to Microsoft the ACE the OLE DB the point twelve the zero and semicolon. And the next uh, property value is going to be our uh, data source. So the data source uh, property name is going to be data source. And it's equals to quotation. And so in percent with uh, active workbook the uh, full name. The active workbook that full name basically uh, returns the uh, the full file path of current Excel file. I'm going to uh, underscore to move to the next line, and okay, and double quotations and semicolon, extend properties equals to. And here we need to uh, insert three double quotation and Excel 12.0 uh, and 
uh, semicolon hdr equals to yes I'm not going to details on uh, each property value if you want to know what they do uh, you can google it and I think that will be probably easier and semicolon imex equals to zero and semicolon and so if you want to set the read only uh, it goes to false to uh, false and insert three double quotations oops uh, there's a, a typo somewhere well, I see I have extra uh, double quotation here so just remove that extra double quotation and I'm going to uh, I'm going to create the connection object <clears throat> so set uh, CONN as create object and AD OD. so the class string is going to be ADODB dot connection and next is going to be the record set object uh, value so set RST equals to create object and ADOD a D O A D O D B the record sets. So this is a type of A D O D B. Okay. And remember we have a, a SQL statement argument, so we're going to pass the uh, SQL statement um strings to the um, s s sql variable so you case and now we'll assign all the uh, variables and object values we can go ahead and open the connection to open the adodb connection so basically you just uh, connection that open and the first parameter is the connection string. So remember, we we'll create the connection strings here. So just grab the variable name and paste over. With this Excel SQL query application, uh, we want to be able to not just query uh, data. We also want to update and as well as delete uh, records. So to do that, I'm going to use the if function and so we can say that uh, using the left function and from the uh, first six uh, characters of the uh, S SQL statement string and the first uh, six uh, text character is equals to updates or if um, in string so in string basically just looking for the uh, text and if the uh, let's see if in, if uh, is if inside the SQL statement there's a, a insert into text appear then we can assume that it's an action query and so we can uh, do connection execute uh, the SQL statement So number here's the number records variable. And I think uh, when you execute this line of code and this will return like how many uh, records got updated and, and it's going to pass the uh, the number to the uh, number records variables and we can test that out uh, later on when, when we finish and I'm going to uh, display a message box and number records uh, space records effects and we want to use the information uh, icon And that's for update. Now we need to write the uh, functionality for to query the data. 
to query the query functionality, you want to use the record set um, variable open and provide the SQL uh, statement text string. So as SQL and active connection will be the uh, connection variable. And I want to choose um, AD open dynamics. And for the lock type, we'll choose um, AD lock uh, optimistic. And once we open the uh, record sets, and that will basically execute a SQL statement against the uh, worksheets. So let me go back. And we're going to create a brand new worksheet to paste the, uh, the result set. So set ws dot worksheets add. And I'm going to use the uh, word statement. So with, within the uh, ws object, and I'm going to move the worksheet uh, to this workbook and worksheet. Um, so I'm going to move to the to the uh, last uh, position. So the sheets count. And this will paste the pass. This will paste the uh, record set. I'm going to paste the uh, record set uh, from range A2 and use the uh, property copy from record set. And actually, there's one more uh, parameter. So, data is, data is unknown. So, the data is basically just the uh, record set variable. So, RST. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, so, if you want to set them, um, maximum rows that you can paste or maximum columns that you want to uh, paste and you can assign the um, max rows and max columns but for now i'm going to leave those blank i don't want to restrict uh, how many columns or rows that i can paste uh, for my uh, for my query so this is going to uh, paste the record set result and we're still, we're still missing the uh, the header. So to paste the uh, table header, so we want to use for i equals to uh, zero to uh, rst uh, object variable and fields counts and minus one because the uh, array base uh, is starting with uh, zero. So we want to use zero and minus one so we don't over count by one and next i so okay. and so from sales uh so basically the row index gonna be on uh, the first row and the column index is going to be uh, i plus one because we don't have uh zero column index the first column index is one so zero plus so zero plus one is a one, so that would be the uh, beginning point to uh, insert the column name, and it goes to uh, RST fields uh, index dot name. So this will give us the uh, the header name of the column, and that will be end of the uh, if statement. So and if I'm going to uh, and I'm going to insert a new line. Well, basically done with the uh, create Excel uh, subroutine. But there's a couple more things I want to do, and I want to uh, create error handler. So to uh, handle if there's any errors occurs, I want to be able to uh, troubleshoot those errors uh, inside the code. So on uh, error go to error handle and we're going to create a, a, a point called error handle and I'm going to uh, above that X sub so this will be the color point between uh, if the code is 
successfully execute from beginning to finish, then it's going to uh, from here it's going to x x out the subroutine. But if there's an error, then I want to first I want to display the error message. So message box error and error description. And I want to display the uh, information icon. I'm going to call the uh, the title JJ Excel C4 application. And go to door. So door is basically the uh, if you use if you write any uh, other program before like Java, Python, C sharp, and similar to um, I'm mimicking the uh, tried except and finally uh, air handle method yeah, so here's the uh, the door stopping point uh, if record set stays <clears throat> not equals to zero then I want to close the uh, record set variable and as well as the connection so if the connection stays is not equals to zero then I want to close the connection. So connection close. And last, I'm going to set all my um, object variables to nothing. So set CMD as nothing. So I just remember something. I don't. I don't think that I ever use the uh, CMD uh, object variable. So let me do a found CMD use the cmd object in the code so i'm just going to delete uh, this object variable so uh, and i'm going to go to debug and compile vba project making sure that there's no typo so okay there's a typo somewhere uh x sub okay let me try again oops uh, so. Oh, it should be in, not exit. And so. Okay, so now everything looks good. I'm going to uh, set the variable to nothing. So, uh, set the variable to nothing, connection to nothing, and set ws to nothing. Okay, and now we're completely finished with the uh, query Excel subroutine. And I'm going to do a test. So, test. And so let's do query Excel. I select everything from the location worksheet. So, one thing with um, writing SQL statement against Excel table is that uh, when you query against an uh, Excel worksheet, you need to wrap the uh, worksheet name of the table name with the uh, square bracket and as well as the uh, dollar sign at the end. So you cannot just uh, write a SQL statement against the location worksheet like this. And if you do, this is going to uh, give you an error. So always um, wrap the uh, worksheet name, which is your table name, with a square bracket. Uh, Excel. Oops. Oh, I'm I missed the the L. And if I run the test subroutine, so by pressing uh, F5. Oops, cannot find the installation. Oh, uh, I forgot one thing very important. So right now my uh, workbook is not safe in my computer. So if I open the FIBA window. And if I do an uh, active workbook, the uh, full name, and you see this only gives me the Excel uh, workbook name. And what I need is the uh, the full path, so including the directory path as well. So I'm going to save this Excel file somewhere in my drive. And I'm going to close this uh, Excel file, Excel SQL query. And I'm going to change the uh, Excel file type as Excel macro enable workbook and save. And now, if I try again, 
Yeah, F5. Oops. Oh, I see what's going on now. So, so there's a typo. So, it should be, source should be S U R C. And try again. So, let me run the uh, test subroutine again. And I'm getting the invalid SQL statements. Oh, now it's the. Uh, so, there's a typo. It should be select. S E L E C T. And that seem to work. So here's the uh, the result set and uh, branch number, market, region, columns, and let's do a double check. And here the three columns are returns. Okay, so now we know the uh, subroutine works. And we go back so I can remove the subroutine and put the air handle back on. And so I'm going to create one more subroutine. And this subroutine is going to uh, launch the user form. So launch Excel SQL form. And this will be the uh, user form name. So FRN Excel SQL query form. And show that show. And I want to display as uh, models. So BB modulus. So now if we run um, the launch Excel SQL form subroutine, Oops, let, me, let me remove the, uh, the break line. And this will allow you to be able to select uh, a cells or, and also allows you to work with your uh, Excel worksheets while the uh, user form is open. So let me close this. And if I go back, and if I uh, just remove this and run this again and now if I try to uh, make a change on my Excel worksheet and I'll get this warning sound so close this and I'm going to put the um, baby modes less and now let's go back to the user form so press F7 to go to the uh, VBA window of the user form I should VBA page not the, not the window and from the drop down um, select uh, commands query and I'm going to create a um, SQL statement variable so theme SQL statement a string and so SQL statements so we're going to pass the uh, string the character string from the text box to the uh, SQL statements string variable so main.txt.sql.value and once we have the uh, SQL statements uh, string we can just call the query excel subroutine and providing the SQL statement and from the drop downs uh, look for uh, the worksheets uh, list box so LST uh, worksheets under the events drop down look for uh, DBL click double clicks I'm going to delete uh, this one so we want to uh, create the, the functionality of when you double click on any worksheet names uh, on the uh, list box and want to create a, a want to populate a SQL statement uh, on the text box. So we mean and, and what? And so want to set the text box as uh, empty text box, and then want to uh, populate the SQL statement. So select select um, wildcard. So everything. And new lines and font and square bracket and the uh the worksheet name so this box uh this worksheets that uh, value and remember the dollar sign and square bracket at the end And let me just do one more uh, compile. OK, 
Okay, and we didn't get any error when we uh, compiled the VBA project. So that is a really good sign. And now let me close the VBA window. And now if I go to uh, view and macros, and so look for the macros in this workbook, and this should be only be only one, and launch Excel form. So let me run this, and the Excel form will uh, pop up. And if I double click on any of the uh, list box item, this will basically create the uh, select of SQL statements uh, inside the text box. And the reason why I create uh, this functionality is that sometimes it's pretty uh, cumbersome to write by hand. And so if you need to write uh, like you know, uh, many SQL queries uh, for like maybe for your analysis, and this might be annoying. So this is just something to uh, automate or make things a little bit easier to, uh, to work with. And now if I need to uh, select, oh shit, there's a typo. So let me go back. VBA uh, window S E L E C T. Let me try again. So I'm going to uh, go to the view and go to macros, and we're going to assign a shortcut. So click on the uh, macro name that you want to assign the uh, keyboard shortcuts, and then go to options. And I'm going to uh, assign Control Shift E and to the uh, shortcut to the uh, macro name. Now every time I press Control shift e the user form is going to display. Now if I need to quickly uh, create every single record or a rows from any of the table, so like for example, employee table, I can just double click and click on query. And this will basically create all the rows that are met the condition. So right now I don't have any uh, condition. So this will basically uh, grab all the rows from the employees table and paste over into a new worksheet. And the clear button is basically clear the text box. And this is going to be the end of this video. For the follow up video, which I'm going to post the video link in the description below. I'm going to show you uh, how to use the user form and how to write the Excel uh, SQL statement and plus um, how to join different tables together.